Todd Cochran here at CS2017, GeekCentralCourse.com. You know, we've got a lot of folks that uh, listen to my podcast that are vision impaired. And anytime I find a product uh, or a potential soon come to market product that is going to help our vision impaired folks, it always intrigues me. So I'm here with, uh, with Craig from Querty Free, and he's going to talk to me about something they're designing and hope to have in the App Store as a keyboard option for vision impaired folks in the near future. So Craig, tell me about this. Hi. So, um, so the name of the product is Shift. Um, kind of like when you're shifting in an automobile and it's designed to give you quick access to, to typing um, without having a, a big keyboard. Um, so there's eight characters that you use 63% of the time in the English language. Those are very easily accessible in just a, a, a swipe of the of the hand. So can we... Yeah, we should, we should demo it, yeah. Let's try it here. So to get an E, well you see that the, by the distribution of the letters here, you have those eight characters I was talking about in each of these, these, these areas. So to get an E, it's just a short swipe in that direction. And for those of you that can't hear this, the tablet just said E when he did that. So he gets confirmation on it. So if the person's completely blind, when they slide it, they actually get that feedback uh, audibly as well. So I, I know you got a big keyboard here that's, for some people, they can actually see a little bit, so it helps them there too. But go ahead with your demo, well, I'm sorry. The key is that you don't have to orient yourself and start with any place. So if you're not looking, you still just start here. As I said, the E was the short swipe and an A was a slightly longer swipe, but I just got, you heard the, the character just now. Um, other letters are just swipe. So it's a two swipe action to get the most that you can get. Um, and that's the short, the short answer of it. Uh, we expect, to, as I said, that you have this at the end of the quarter in the App Store. Um, How's, so I'm sure you've had some vision impaired folks testing this so far with you. Have you, have you run it through them? How, how's the response been from folks that have been testing it? We had a positive response yesterday from a couple people that walked by the roof, but we really introduced this app yesterday. Okay. So it has not been out there and had a lot of usage yet. So, are you, because you're going to be going into the App Store, so you probably got some beta invites available at some point then that you could maybe have some folks do some testing for you too, right? I think we might be open to that. I think we'd have to figure that out. We didn't get that far. I'll, I'll, I'll be upfront with you. We haven't yeah. gotten that far. That'd be a good idea, though. Very, very cool. So, uh, for folks that want more information as this gets ready to come online, come to market. 43.com. 43.com. And uh, so, go over to the website, folks. Check them out, especially if you're part of our vision impaired listening audience we definitely want you to uh to, to see what these what's going on here to help you out to be able, and what's cool is you know i've always wondered how you know of course they got the voice recognition system on the phones now where you can almost voice the text but it doesn't always work real good so well, no and that's not always practical yeah. okay with you're around a bunch of people yeah. do you want to hear them talking or yeah. you know, do you want them to hear you talking in a you know in a uh, movie theater there's a lot of texting going on there anyway and now you could do that without looking I mean, even for somebody that's not visually uh, impaired, yeah. you'd still be able to use it. Yeah. We kind of figured that if it works for them, it works for everybody. All right, very cool. Todd Cochran, Geek News Center here at CS 2017 at the 43.com booth.